Guys, I want to just do a little palate cleanser for you. Normally, we would do this in the post game, but I just want to share a little love, a little joy, a little enjoyment. Someone brought this to my attention earlier today, and this is genuinely one of the funniest things that I've seen in quite some time. And I say that a lot, and honestly, in a... I mean, a lot of it is also disgusting and sad, but we come across a fair amount of funny content. The thing about this is that it sustains and uh, sort of elevates as the time goes on. Like I was on, I had to literally pace around the office when I first watched this because it was so funny. So, so uh, and that was like the first minute of it, but. So, so funny. So I don't know when this is from. It's recently. It's recent and I, it has to be on a live stream. Is this from a day ago? This is from 19 hours ago. 19 hours ago. Apparently this is a live stream, so this isn't edited out. And it, I, look, I, it seems to me that there was an agreement beforehand that like, hey, if I get this phone call, I got to take it. But the way that this phone call is taken and the duration and the it's not even contempt because contempt is more energy. It's just pure disrespect. Pure dis alpha. Pure <laughs> alpha. So the way I'll intro this is I'm going to try to get Larry King on TMBS. Uh, all props to Larry King. Dave Rubin is having a super rough time of it, it seems like. And when we cut this for YouTube labor later, it will be what, – what will it be? It will be, so, it will be like, you know, alpha Larry King – Cox, Cox Beta Dave, Dave Rubin. <laughs> Guys, watch this. And if you're listening, just realize that Larry King is speaking into a 1996 style massive flip phone. Put this on the speaker so our guests can hear this and enjoy. But that gets to what you were saying about this sort of, par of uh, partisan way of just, you pick your side and that's sort of where we're at. And these guys aren't going you know, to get with each other anymore or any of these things. I can't, I, uh, you know any Republican moderates? I grew up with a lot of them. Yeah. New York Herald Tribune. There was some great youth, Scott of Pennsylvania. Jake Javits of New York. Yeah. He's, a distant, he's a distant cousin of mine, actually. Oh, yeah? Jacob great, Javits, yeah. Great man. Yeah? Great man. My mo Oh, he's got a phone. Oh, now go. let me show you. Yeah, show us phone. this phone. This, this old is, Samsung makes it. I saw. I visited that company in Korea. Yeah. <laughs> and it's ringing right now. <laughs> it is. Oh shit! Hello. <laughs> hey, Cannon, where are you? <laughs> Look at Dave's already upset. See the good sign. Oh, oh, you didn't have a game today. I got a list. You got a double header this coming Saturday. <laughs> How did you do? <laughs> Rewind that. Yeah. Rewind that. I'm sorry, I laughed over it. It's too good. You can hear Dave like whispering to Larry. Whispering. I got a list. You got a double header this coming Saturday. Yeah, we had a double header today, too. How did you do? Larry. Oh, uh, that's great. That's a 333 batting average, Cannon. Well, I'm doing David Rubin's podcast now. I'm on his show, and while talking to you, the audience is watching me talk to you. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> Cannon, you're a star. So if you could do 10 minutes when you open the refrigerator. You know, I would love to do my own podcast. He wants to do his own podcast. I'll he's, bring him he's in. He's going to be 20 years old. I'll bring him here. He's a great kid. All right, Ken, when am I going to see you? I'm, uh, tonight I'm tied up. Tomorrow I'm going to do the How about Thursday? How about Friday night? All right. The night before your doubleheader. 
I'll be at both games. Okay, I'll be there. Pause it. I just I have to say, you. now you think after it's it's sweet, I think he's talking to his son. It he's sounds, been enormously rude, and it sounds like his son actually is trying to wrap the call up. <laughs> yes. So let's see where this goes now, because you, you think... You can sense Dave's sense of relief coming. You can sense Dave. Dave, what I also love, and my, my guess is, is that... Dave is the type of guy who stupidly grins, but is like seething oh, inside. He's yeah. like, I'm getting disrespected in my own set. Check this out. Here's the, how about Friday night? Sounds good. All right. I am home now. The night before your doubleheader. <laughs> I'll be at both games. Okay, I'll be there. <laughs> I love you, Ken. Aw. Did you hear the news? I love you. Okay. Talk to you tomorrow. What? Yeah. Did you hear the news? What? Did the Dodgers or no? No, what? The Dodgers got Mookie Betts and David Price. Today? <laughs> That's great. The Dodgers got Mookie Betts and David Price today. <laughs> you're, breaking, you're breaking news for me, man. He's so mad. I, That's so tremendous. Mad. Who did they... Look at his face oh here. Oh, my God. Today? That's great. The Dodgers got Mookie Betts and David Price today. You're breaking, you're breaking news for me, man. That wasn't a real I, sip that's of water. Trips and David. <laughs> today? <laughs> that's great. The Dodgers got Mookie Betts and David Price today. You're breaking, you're breaking news for me, man. I, that's tremendous. Who did they give up for them? <laughs> Nikes and suspenders, pure disrespect. Oh, that's two pretty good players. Get to my Ada can picture. Alex Verdugo is going to be a star. So, Peterson, is there someone going from the Angels to the Red Sox? We got the rookie, he was a rookie last year. Wow. Cannon, you bring me great Dave news. Dave just gave him a sign here. Watch this. <laughs> Fake sip. Let's go. Yeah, let's wow. go. Come on, Larry. <laughs> Chat, Cannon, you bring me great news. <laughs> That's great, Cannon. Thank you for this. And the audience here thanks you. <laughs> Better than what we were talking about. <laughs> he says, tell him anytime. Okay, Cannon, baby, I love you. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> Well, folks, the Dodgers got Mookie Betts <laughs> and um, David Price and Jock Peterson went to the Angels three-way trade. See, you are a newsman. Breaking oh, news. Oh, that's so awesome. That's so fucking awesome. And he just... <laughs> Didn't happen. You know what? I mean, look, to be fair, he's literally... Expl you know, he said, like, there used to be, yeah, I guess this dumb kid is asking me about the, the Republicans again. Okay, you know, there there used to be Republicans that were moderate. There was Jacob Javits. I don't know, this fucking moron kid who thinks I'm his mentor. <laughs> Hello, son. <laughs> Would you like to have a random conversation on my <laughs> Samsung flip phone? <laughs> I actually visited the facility in 1997. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> I can barely even add. The only thing I can add to that is what I perceive to be is the deep psychodynamics at display there from Dave. Just like I thought that he was my mentor. <laughs> What's also funny is it's you okay. Look I'm being clever. You know, thank God I did stand up comedy. <laughs> I know how to roll with this. You look like you, you look at the runtime of these episodes, and so <laughs> this one has forty-seven minutes, and so that was three minutes of that forty-seven. The other ones are way longer. It usually goes way longer with guests. So Larry King gave him less time than typical. <laughs> Larry and King talked to his son about base about Larry Mookie Betts. Larry King is an <laughs> alpha. He's a legend. CNN are and two hours with Glenn Beck. <laughs> Glenn Beck. You have about 45 minutes, and if my son calls about baseball, I'm picking up the phone. All oh, right, man. let me guess. The Democrats are out of control. 
But it was actually a lot of people are saying mean things to you online. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> Dave should actually feel lucky that that phone call came when it did, because the way uh, Larry King said, I don't know any moderate Republicans, do you? He saved Ruben from actually having to answer that yeah, question, which exactly. is contrary to everything Ruben's been yeah, talking about. Yeah, but Dave is too much of an idiot to recognize that Larry King's son with the cool baseball stats <laughs> saved him from making, I mean, I won't say making an ass of himself. He is an ass, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> that two uh, that two seven inning games. I wonder if he's that guy that kid was in uh, minor league baseball actually. It sounds like minor league. Yeah. That's great. Kid and he, you know, at one point he said he literally said he, he, he said he tells this kid, You're a star. You can get ten minutes out of opening the fridge. And implicit like unlike this guy that I was literally taking a phone call to talk about baseball traits with. He's sitting there in complete boredom, just like, yeah, well, you know, there was Jacob Javits, and there was Moderates, and there was, Jesus Christ, he's a nice kid, but he's not the brightest. <laughs> and all of a sudden, wait, the Angels got Hernandez? <laughs> I so fat. <laughs> oh, we are definitely at the phase where Dave Rubin is amazing for the not the reasons he thinks he's amazing. Couldn't happen he, to a nicer host. He finally became a success through embracing being, you know, just this like embarrassing pseudo, 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 pseudo intellectual, you know, right wing asshole, mind blowingly stupid nonsense. He finally got a little bit of a career going. And now at this point, through sheer repetition and utter inability to form thought, uh, and interacting with Larry King, he's legit entertaining. Mm -hmm. That Dave Rubin segment is the most entertaining piece of YouTube that I've seen in at least a year. And probably the most entertaining ever since he and Joe Rogan talked about the post off. No, you know what it reminds me of? <laughs> it reminds me of when uh, when uh, Alex Jones was at that bar and that kid showed up. Ooh, like, I think... <laughs> That, this is the closest I've felt to that level of, like, I can't believe this is actually happening. Except to give that kid credit, he had enough energy to make Alex Jones panic. There's a crazy guy at the bar. I got to get out of yeah, here. Yeah. Larry King's just like, oh, no, just some boring dope asking me about Jacob Javits. <laughs> I guess he tries to make Star Wars jokes on Twitter and people don't think they're funny. <laughs> Anyways, it's a doubleheader on Saturday. <laughs> Go to Dr. Glenn Beck's assistant. <laughs> <laughs> this kid tracked down my email address and came over and asked me about college campuses or something. And the funniest line he had was that he said he was a stand-up comedian. But anyways, Cameron, I heard that guy has a knuckleball. Is that going to be a problem? <laughs> Is he the one that had Tommy John? <laughs> I love that he starts talking about his Samsung uh, tour, too. He starts <laughs> talking about phone. his Samsung That's tour. what's known as a bored interview guest. <laughs> yeah, that is... That. <laughs> so you think it's, everyone's partisan and that's what it's going to be from now on? <laughs> Everybody just seems to be in their own tribes. Yeah, exactly, kid. Anyways, speaking of tribes, I visited the Samsung tribe. 1997. Oh, whoops, look at call. <laughs> Did that call. I told my son to call me at the 40-minute mark so I could shave three minutes off of this unimaginably boring interview. I told my assistant to wait until my son actually called to get me out of this stupid thing. <laughs> I gave my phone before he actually called. Yeah, but anyways, no hard feelings. In conclusion, people shouldn't make fun of you on Twitter, and things sure are partisan. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's like like the like the nine percent of Larry King that's even paying attention is just sort of like you know, if I cared, I would ask you uh, why you host Nazis if you're so concerned about partisanship. But I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> oh, keep being you man keep being you Dave please you just watched a Michael Brooks show video 
Subscribe to get them all. Why wouldn't you? Don't be foolish. Click subscribe below and become a patron as well. Patreon.com slash TMBS. Thanks, everybody.